Hi, in this video we're going to talk about uh, having an Arduino unit, in this case is a Mega, uh, hooked up to Microsoft Excel and we're going to use it to do some things where we can have digital inputs which will immediately show up in Microsoft Excel. So in this case I'm using switches and you can see ticks turning up on the Excel screen as I turn on the switches. And we can also do things like have analog inputs as well. So I've got a couple of trimmer pots here. I don't know if you can see this one at the back because it might be hidden. But as I turn the trimmer pot here, I can have my conditional format icon start to show bars as the trimmer is turned. And, and if I want something that's more granular, I can use just a, a data bar. And you can see as I increase the trimmer pot here, the bar increases. So this is using the Excel data streamer function and I cover a lot about how we set that up in the over engineered and odds channel under the Excel data streamer group. You'll see that there's all of the videos for that here. Um, but this one really we're focused on how do we get more than um, 10 channels of input in because normally we're limited to that and you can see in this scenario we've actually got 16 digitals and a couple of analogs as well. So that's like 18 different inputs coming in. Looking at the Arduino code, I set up the pins to be input pins and turn on my uh, serial communications at 9600 board. And then what we're doing here is we're just doing a digital read of the various pins and rather than using a comma as our separator, which would then cause um, the, the data to separate out into channels in Microsoft Excel here, I'm just using an arbitrary character. In this case, I've used the hash character and I put that between each of the readings. And so, and then we spit all of that out and do a new line at the end. Um, and what that means is when it comes through to Excel, it just comes through in the one channel, channel one cell with the separator character in it between each of the readings. And then what you can do over here is we can have a look at what's coming in at that, that cell there and then split it out. So I'm using the text split function of Microsoft Excel to use this delimiting character to split out all of the values. And that's what you're seeing here. And then because I don't want them to be treated as text, I use the value function to um, make them actually be zeros or ones or whatever the actual value is as far as Excel is concerned. And then I'm just applying some conditional formatting to get my different uh, visualizations of these values. So the tick and the cross uh, one here, if you wanted to have that sort of function, it's just under conditional formatting and you just do icon sets. The tick and the cross that I was using is just this set here and the ones I was using for the, the little bars was uh, this one here. And based on the value of you have in the cell, it will do the tick or the cross, but you need to configure that first. So if you go to conditional formatting and then manage rules and then edit the rule, and select type number and We'll say if the value is greater than one, so now when it's zero, it'll be treated as a cross and one, it'll be treated as a tick. Now the, these are quite small, but basically the font size will control how big your icon is. And you'll find that some sizes it's a bit fuzzy, but other sizes it is crisp. The last thing you might want to do too is to hide the number that's actually driving the formatting. And you can do that again with the uh, conditional formatting rules. It's just this show icon only tick box. And you may want to center it as well. This one here I did with a different type of formatting. So that is using the conditional formatting option where we use data bars instead. And it's a similar kind of setup. The test circuit that I'm using in case you're interested is just drawing power from the Arduino and the ground from the Arduino. And then I've just got the power rail here going to the switches and then the sense lines from the Arduino here. And then these are all just resistors going to ground. I'm using 1K, but it doesn't really matter that much what you use. And then the, um, for the analog inputs, what I've got is a power going to one side of the trimmer and then ground on the other, and then the, the middle swipe pin that's going off to the, anal the analog pin on the Arduino. The Arduino code and the Excel file are on GitHub. I will paste this link into the video description for you. 
thanks for watching.